traders, this is Dr. Barry Burns with the Top Dog Trading video newsletter. And today we're going to do a quick review of the S&P 500 daily chart. What we're looking for here is some clues as to what we can expect in 2013. It's January 20th, 2013 as I record this. And we're going to look at a couple things here real quick. So first of all, what we had coming into the end of 2012 was a nice uh, trend up on the S&P, one, two, three waves. And then we went into a momentum shift. You can see how we talk about momentum can often lead price down right after the wave three. By the way, these wave counts are not Elliott waves. They're my own unique objective way of measuring waves. And one of our trades is a first cycle high after momentum turns down because often momentum will lead price. There's no such thing as a leading indicator that leads the market all the time, but momentum is a potential leading indicator. It's something we look for. In my methodology, we have five energies. Momentum is one of those energies. Trend is one of those energies. Cycle, support, resistance, and the fractal energy. No one of those energies, including momentum, means anything as far as creating a probability for profitability. However, when you combine them, then we establish probability scenarios. So this is just one of five things that we would look at and would then prompt us to look at other things. In this case, it worked out very well. In fact, we put a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wave pattern to the downside on momentum which is very extreme, very extended. And that's actually a signal then uh, that we could take to go long because it's beyond the average. And therefore we're at an extreme area of momentum. We like to trade extremes. I like to trade the edge of probabilities and that gives you an edge in trading over the competition. So indeed, that's exactly what happened here. we come back up. And where we are now is we had a little, uh, what I call rubber band trade here. One, two, three, four, five wave momentum pattern with the downtrend indicator, um, meaning that, well, as I say, that's what I call my rubber band trade and it's really a reversion to the mean trade. It's a little scalping trade back to the 50 MA. And then we had a second chance pattern here in our cycle, which gives us a very high probability cycle low and trend starts going up and sure enough we start a new trend to the upside now we've gotten up here to this key resistance level which is the wave three and we went sideways when you go sideways instead of price retracing down that is a bullish price pattern and so indeed now the last couple of days here thursday and friday we have been moving to the upside and our next resistance level here is 1523 that's a Fibonacci level 23.6 extension. So that is what we're looking at right now. Now on my Facebook page, um, I put a poll on my Facebook page to see how people were feeling about the stock market for 2013. And I'll give you that Facebook page here in a minute. You can see where the poll stands at the time that you're viewing this video. As I said, I'm recording on January 20th. But before we do that, let's go ahead and look at another time frame as well. Now, here's a weekly chart of the S&P. And this is, the weekly chart is my favorite uh, longer term time frame. Uh, for real long term investing, I'll use the monthly. And there's a certain, um, especially one certain uh, pattern that I look for in the monthly that I really like that works really well. But otherwise for long term I'm basically looking at weekly. So as I'm considering okay what do I expect in the year 2013 I would look at the weekly chart. By the way I'm not um, privy to the future any more than you are. I'm not pretending that I know what's going to happen in 2013. I don't just like no one else knows the future. So what we're doing is we're just um, analyzing things, looking at probabilities, and that's the best we can do in trading anyway. And this is certainly not any recommendation to buy or sell anything specific in the market. 
Now let's look at where we are here. We've had a nice five wave pattern. Um, and that's a nice trend. So we consider an average trend. And then we had um, trend came out of the market. That's a natural cycle from uh, expansion to contraction, order to chaos. This is a natural cycle. And then uh, we've gotten back into uh, another trend. This actually was a false attempt to break. And then this is the successful one. One, two. And we're working on a wave three now. When we're in a wave three, we're in an official trend. Again, here's our target area up here. And what is interesting is the month of March is often a cycle, a significant cycle. If you look back historically, you'll see that a lot of turns occur in March or really April. And so this is getting set up here where possibly, possibly, again, I'm not predicting anything, but this is just what I'm looking for. I'm watching to see if it happens. If we come up and we reach this area up here, this, um, this is really just one resistance level. It looks like two, but it's really one. And we come in there around March, put in a cycle high. Right now, everything's angling up. Cycle's up, momentum's up, trend is up. And so that's why I'm looking for this level here. We hesitated at this resistance level uh, last week. And then this current week, we got just a little bit above it. So we'll see. Now, the interesting thing is, March, could we go into a major down move? Well, again, not predicting the future, but there's a couple things to look at. If you look at the poll that I put on my Facebook page, I just basically asked people, are you bullish or bearish for the stock market in 2013? And here's that page where you can go to and check out the current stats. So here is the website, facebook.com forward slash top dog trading. And to find the poll whenever you're looking at this, it may have moved down the page. Just look for the poll question, are you bullish or bearish the stock market in 2013? Published on January 16th of 2013. Now what's interesting about that is at the time that I'm looking at this right now, 109 people said bullish, 61 said bearish. So again, 109 bullish, 61 bearish. 44 were neutral, said the market is neutral, and 49 said they have no clue. <laughs> okay, so uh, basically the sentiment, now this of course is a not a very scientific study at all, and it's a very, very small sample, so not official, but just uh, kind of for fun. Uh, but this unofficial, fun little poll indicates that the sentiment is bullish from those who took the poll. And generally, uh, sentiment uh, things such as this are considered to be contrary indicators, meaning that if most people think the market's going to be bullish in 2013, it'll probably end up being bearish. In other words, that the masses are usually wrong. So that's one thing to take into consideration. I haven't seen any bigger numbers, um, any more official polls taken. That would be interesting to see. The other thing that I'm thinking is this is a the first year of a new presidential cycle. And historically, uh, the first and second year of the presidential cycles are the worst years. The third and fourth are the best. Generally, this is considered because presidents want to make sure that as they run for re-election, the economy is good. Uh, of course, um, there are always, uh, well, cycles are not always consistent, number one. And number two, uh, this is the second term of the president, so he may not be quite as concerned about that. However, that's one argument. However, his party will be very concerned about that. The Democratic Party will want to make sure that Obama does well, leaves with a good economy, so that whoever uh, runs for the Democratic Party for the next presidential election will come in um, with a good record for his or her party. And so therefore, I think that argument still does stand. So we have the presidential cycle against us here. We also have this unofficial sentiment indicator against us being a bullish market. And just a couple of things to consider. Again, none of this is uh, rocket science.
but just a few things to consider. Be interested in your comments. Go ahead and feel free to post your comments below and let's have a little discussion about this. Either you can do it here below this video or on my Facebook page. I value your input and look forward to the discussion.